I can't believe that happened right next door to our strategy meeting. Kaido, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of your- It's not a fucking strategy meeting. If you heard anything he said, he was talking a bunch of stupid shit. That was gonna get every single one of them killed when it came time for them to get killed. You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? What? Am I one of your suspects now? No, um, that's not what I'm... No, nah, it's natural that you're suspicious of me. Of course! But I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the universe. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Okay, he's still low-key trying to hit on her. Now that I think about it, the monitor started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. I want to confirm what you told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting and no one went to the library, right? Yeah, we went straight to the game room. But right after we went inside, Boto went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Yeah, I can guarantee it. So, I'm not clear of suspicion yet, huh? Uh, don't worry. You're not a likely suspect. Hey, that's not something a detective should say. What? If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rontor would have died for no reason. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Gonto watching Bug Movie. To fill Gonto with... Okay, we've been through this. That sounds like a lie. If you don't tell us the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Uh, if Gonto naked in public, then Gonto never become gentlemen. Jeez. Himiko, shut up. Stop saying ridiculous things. Gonta just won't protect everyone, really. Why? Why no one believe Gonta? Gonta feels so pathetic. Okay, that's it. Hey, let's investigate this room a little more before we verify. What else is there to investigate? Well, unless you want me to look at the other speaker. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game. Okay, so it's not the same door. Uh, is this connect? That was that door that I went to at the beginning of the game that was jammed and I couldn't get in there. You're right. It seems that way. Let's check. So it doesn't clear it going to. I tried it. I tried to open it, but... Huh? Huh, that's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um. Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No, no. no. If it's gone to, it doesn't matter if the door is stuck yet. Yeah. Superhuman strength. If you remember that shit with the manhole, yeah. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. I remember that. That's right. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Go to, that? Go to not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast, most important meal of any gentleman's day. I agree. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. This sliding door hasn't moved in a while. So then, just force his way through the gap. Son! Okay, so this clear is going to the. That's not possible. This may be enough space for a baseball to fit through. Son. They keep saying little things. I don't know how big a damn shot put is, but. If it's anything like the side of a baseball, if. That door connects to exactly where I think it does. Then someone took that shot put directly from that room. Who can do that though? Like they took the shot put directly from that room, 
heaved it through the gap in the door because they said that other one was a sliding door so the sliding door might have been open and they went directly through both doors because on the other side on the library was a sliding door so they went right through the gap when they threw the shot put and smacked this dude right in the back of the head and killed him on impact magic. so then he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off going to cannot use magic Oh, I can use magic. These two never have anything important to say. Okay, this whole case would throw me off right now. What's the, what's the matter, Shuichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try a sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered. I, I thought so. Look. You can see the rear entrance to the lot. Yup. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. I'm mad I actually put all that together, yo, just from that, son. Because I know nothing. I don't know, like, I don't know any of the logistics about the case, yo. But I just put that whole thing together myself. I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it's still a little concerning. Concerning how? I just have one giant question. For now, let's ask the others some questions. There's still people we haven't talked to. This would be done if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the ma we already know who the mastermind is. That's true, but you shouldn't wait a around and do nothing. Yeah, you're right. How would you know who the mastermind is, though? You already said that nobody actually opened the door. So you wouldn't know who the mastermind is through the picture because they threw the stupid shot put from that door all the way over to the library and smacked this dude in the back of the head so you wouldn't know. And I gotta go talk to everybody else that we haven't talked to yet. I figured out how they committed the murder already by myself, but... There are a lot of problems with this case so the mono cubs could legitimately end up developing those films and it really wouldn't matter at all because you wouldn't know who the mastermind is through getting those films developed oh Tenko, i wanted to ask you something you asked Tenko about what happened in the game room but she only confirmed what Monkey had told us and didn't provide anything new. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right. I knew it! Gonto would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention, he's also a male. I haven't done any investigating. What? That's... I wasn't even reading that, yo. That's legit what I was just thinking. Hey, degenerate! Don't give me that face! I've been doing something else. What? I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie? God damn it, Yoshi perverted. We agreed to investigate with one another one other person, right? But Angie hasn't wandered has just been wandering around alone. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Nigga, what is that face? Oh, she does not look happy right now. Ugh, degenerate man. Don't act all high and mighty with me. You two-faced degenerate. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. Like, what was that face, though? I saw somebody else in the hall. You're not going to investigate, Angie? Investigating isn't important, but I gotta say my parents are Atua too. Amen. Oh, Atua. Please let Rontaro enter heaven safe and sound. I suppose a prayer couldn't help hurt. Rontaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. Okay. Don't worry. I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. Sounds like a credit card rewards program. Angie, I don't think, once again, I don't think you're going to be any help on any case that we have. 
Okay, so Kibo and uh, I think that's what Kyo are in the classroom. Damn, yo, there's a lot to investigate. Son, oh yeah, because you need everybody's alibi. I was like, yo, why are we even talking to all these people? <gasps> Hade, Shuichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You want to look out inside the classroom, right? Yeah, from here, we could keep an eye on the basement and it was close to the library too. That's our alibi. We were both in the classroom when the murder occurred. See. See then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire- No. No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the, the whole time. Until the receiver went off. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand, thank you very much. Classroom that's been out uh, yet. Hey. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um, oh, may I ask you one more question specifically about that bit? Uh huh. By the way, it appears to be connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. Hey. So Kibo actually did some investigating word. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching That's in the classroom. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we're here on lookout. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. How they stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. Really? I'll be sure to save that important piece of information from my memory bank. I hope my line of caution has not offended you either. Offended either of you. It's necessary that we may find the truth. Kibo, you totally sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh. Maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. A past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? Kyo, which you are weird as fuck. <laughs> Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Well, how'd you know? My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware. So to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. The other people there with me were Miyu, Kirumi, Sumugi. The monocus prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids birthday cake or something. Mm. Nigga what? That pasta sounds depressing. That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. But what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Mio was tempering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Sumigi left to use the restroom. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom and secretly disguised herself as someone else. Someone else, but who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. Should be in the crime scene in the library. <laughs> what the? So it's dusk already. You a? What the? What does that even say? You ate board. Like he keeps putting like these little stupid. Something like those notes on that thing creep me out. Hey Kibo, what were you doing when the body discovery during the body discovery announcement? Ah, my alibi. Oh shit. What the fuck? Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. 
So you don't have an alibi. But Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Ryoma. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? That was not my intention. And I see, both Kiba and Ryoma don't have alibis. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an out, nigga, you lying. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, but you don't need to be so PC. Ooh. Message to all y'all overly politically correct ass motherfuckers out there. I'm trying to put into my head if I didn't know who did this bullcrap. Who would my main suspects be? I think my main suspect right now, if I didn't know what I knew, would be Gonta. I don't know what his motive would be, but it would have to be Gonta from what I know about like how the hypnotic suggestion worked in the original plot. Then I would also have to suspect Kaede and Shuichi. I don't remember if there was anybody else. Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sh sure have gotten awfully chummy. Are you alone, Kokichi? Hmm? Yeah, why? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that all right? Anyway, there's something I want to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rontaro was killed? Oh. oh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity! And I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth, <laughs> lying. I was in the library smashing in Rontaro's head. Huh? Why would you say something that would make you suspect number one? Whatever. Hey, quit screwing around and talk, take this seriously. Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? What? If I gave you an honest, an honest answer now, it would just make everything boring, right? I'd rather just tell you at the class trial. That would be way more fun. The trial's gonna be boring anyway since we'll have photo evidence. No, we won't. What are you saying? I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. This isn't a game. Rontaro was murdered. All our lives are at stake. Exactly, it's a game of life and death. I'm so excited, I want the class trial to start already. Kokichi actually enjoying this situation? He lies all the time. He's completely, I think he might actually be completely frightened by the situation. And he doesn't know how to tell the truth about it because of his nature. So then they say homegirl was in the bathroom. Uh, well, she's not no more. He is in the library. Wait. Why are you in the library? Why is she investigating the library by herself? Oh, she's not by herself. Why was she the only one that showed whatever? Hey, Smoogie, I need to ask you something. Uh, she looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Smoogie's skirt and began to lift it slowly. I'm gonna let this skirt Sumugi. You okay with that? Wait, Kaede. You better talk. I'm gonna let this skirt for Shuichi to see. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. Uh, I understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. That's like a thing with her, yo. She just tries to ignore people. She does that stupid thing. She pretends to be in deep thought to ignore people to hope they just go away and stop talking to her. 
Oh, took you long enough. Well, I can't let Shuichi's innocent eyes get dirty. Oh, uh, no. They won't get dirty. Are you saying you seem dirtier, Shuichi? What did you want to talk about? I'm just going to cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone. Even one of us, right? She's not the ultimate imposter, though. Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible! I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people, or rather I can't. You can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... Cosplay isn't a disguise! Huh? Sorry! Well... You'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show you. Show me how? Come on, Kaede. Oh, wait! Samugi grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Man, I'm holding this controller in such a weird way, huh? This is how I'm control holding this controller to move through this stuff. Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey now, there's no way I do a thing like that. Hey! Now hurry up and take your clothes off. Huh? What? Why? Uh... Well, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Uh, but... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Sumugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed yeah. into my clothes. Okay, now you can look. Huh? What the? F a gross buppy rash has spread across. That's a rash. What is she referring to? Cosplots. The equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Now she's throwing out full metal alchemist references. Okay, I right. change out of my clothes already. We exchanged our clothes, then returned to the library where Suishi was waiting. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Sumugi couldn't have disguised herself. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. Man, don't talk shit about the ultimate imposter. I really don't need that long explanation. It's time. You bastards! It's time, bastards. Time for the long-awaited class trial. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't it? For real, that's it? Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Oh. Uh, hey, does my face look weird to you? Has my face always looked this weird? Did you hear that, Shuichi? Pictures have finally been developed. Let's go. Come on, get a move on. Oh, wait, Kaede. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Uh, I figured out what happened in that room and you're not going to get any information from, that, from them pictures. I ran full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Uh, wait, Kaede. You shouldn't get so worked up. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. No, you're not. We're going to find out who the mastermind is. No, you're not. It's a shiner, sign. And you really think they would actually go out of their way to give you that information when it comes out for the pictures? Oh, you came. We're intruding. 
sure did. I came to see you, Toots. <laughs> You're as lovely as always. Nigga, that's your sister. Take these. It's all the photos. They're separated in the envelopes to each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you, you know? Dead. All those pictures are going to show is Ron uh, um. Anyway, looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah, finally. Patty, hey, are those developed photos? Cooper should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. Alright, let's take a look. Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance. For I'm pretty sure all of them are just going to be Ron Toro. The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see. Oh. So it would show everybody who stepped into the library before they actually showed up. Let's see the first picture. Oh, that's... Wait. This is... When we arrived at the library, so... It took a picture then? That's the first picture? Yeah, this was right before we found Rontoro's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me. But don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. Rest assured, we do not care. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. Um, this is it's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Yeah, okay. This is everyone else who came to the library after buy the discovery announcement. Okay, yeah. Be okay, that goes along with my theory about Okay. If you see if you see the uh Wait, there was one, okay. The camera pointed at the other door should only end up showing Ron Taro if I'm right. So we got there a bit late. Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. There was one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Yo, that shit creeped me the fuck out. Shuichi, the camera went off. I'm oh fucking mad. I'm oh, sorry, it looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the camera. See, that would make it. That would make him my primary suspect right there. What are you saying? Uh, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that'll help us either. So, what about the other packages? The camera pointing at the front entrance only. Sp Snap these four photos. Hmm. Neither Rontoro nor anyone else could be the culprit are in these photos. They both entered through the back door then? Only Rontoro did. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance. But does the camera did the camera automatically go off though when he yeah. We'll see. Hmm, only two were taken by the camera point at the rear entrance. These are the ones that I want to see. If I'm right, I think it's only going to be Ron Taro and the ball. Uh. Yep, there's Ron Taro. Okay, yep, I got that one right. Ron Taro? So Ron Taro went in through the rear entrance? Perhaps so no one would see him? I thought it might have been possible that he was, he was moved to the library after being murdered. But that does not appear to be the case. So... That means he was killed in the library after going there on his own whip. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next. It's just going to be the ball, right? Huh? You look. That's why I said you was a primary suspect. Uh, sorry, me again. This is from when I was moving the camera. What a attention haul son, he's my pri On the real, he would be my primary suspect right now. He had no choice to remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. So what about the ones playing at the bookcase though? That's all for the rare ones. Just these two photos. 
Huh? Culprit not in rare photo either. What does this mean? They're not in either photo of front or rear entrance pictures. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Hey, Shuichi. Do you think that's weird? I don't. Uh. Uh, um. Let's look at the po pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. I don't think you want to look at that. Because... Yeah. That might just be a mad big close-up of right when he got killed. Oh yeah. The camera should have captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. Nope. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... Let me guess. Ron... Ron Taro again? Yep. Oh, Ron Taro. But... If Rontaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then he must have known about the hidden door. Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? Yes, that is. Son! No. He already, no, because Shuichi already confirmed that nobody. See? If I didn't know what I know, then Shuichi would be suspect number one right now after these photos. And now, let us see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? Yeah, here it is. Huh? The flash went off on the camera. The one that Kaede set up. What's Rontaro doing? Looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to rem son. You can tell from that bright light, yo. The flash went off. Maybe he's trying to remove it. Ah, I didn't notice something while I was removing the camera. Security sensor for the camera was switched off. In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. But that would mean that Rontaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor which in turn activates the camera right the bookcase appears to have already been moved so why did the sensor activate that's why I don't get it who cares what happened to the culprit how come they're not in any of the photos? The last photo must have been taken shortly before Rontaro was killed. If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him, though. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be found? That's all the photos? So, we gained new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. What a fucking waste. She really developed all the photos. Maybe she got rid of the ones that showed the culprit. <laughs> How rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. Those are all the photos from the hidden camera. So relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around. These are seriously all the pictures. You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how'd they kill Rontaro? So this must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Oh man. I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. You should have been helping us investigate. Oh, by the way. Rontaro had the monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything was in it? Student handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. Who was talking? Oh, I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. I inspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Okay, why would he have that out? 
What information does that thing give you? I have no idea. Wait. Okay. So this is the full mono pad. It gives you a map of the school. It also shows you a rule. Was that not a rule in the first one or something? It's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Heidi, are you okay? Why, why aren't they in the pictures? The mastermind had these photos. It would have solved everything. So why the hell? Um. Heidi. I'm not ready for this bullshit. Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. I understand exactly how he got killed, but... Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. I really do not like Monokuma's new voice or... Time already? Seems we have no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. What a pain. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> <laughs> what are you scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be a, be scared of. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class yeah. trial. And then everything, including this killing game, can come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Let's find this mastermind, and if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? No. Everyone follow Monokuma's instruction and walk toward the courtyard. Shuichi's still here. Are you okay? Heidi, really, are you okay? Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. I'm okay now, Shuichi. What? Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Here's the thing. I keep alluding to the fact that at least for this trial, I know who did it. But I'm honestly going to say if I didn't know who did it, my suspect number one would be Shuichi right here. Suspect number two would be Gonta. And then suspect number three... Uh-huh. I have a suspect number three, but... Uh, it's this red door, right? Hey! Hey, Kaede. I have one more question. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit, but the mastermind as well? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Shuichi? Okay. Yes, but... It's just... That was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Well, I don't know if it's true either, but that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Oh, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting on something waiting for us so this is the shrine of judgment everyone. careful everyone if bad thing ha things happen get behind go why is that always what you go to and give me a piggyback ride come on carry me Bitch. oh my god you are so fucking annoying so are we doing a class trial here or what no monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here but Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Uh, the statue. This 
Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Okay, I guess not. Never mind. Huh? Huh? What? Ah. No! Oh fuck! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! Yo, I'm Damn, done with this game. Are... I'm done with Damn. this game. For the day. Motherfucker! Spirit praising beauty. All I want is a girl with a big ass booty. Please! Please! Mims! <laughs> oh fuck! We doing this now? Oh! Get your face in my face so I can bust your ass. Oh I, like, son, I felt like there was way too much time and I was like, nigga. I was like, son, I'm at 42. I was like, mess the fuck up, yo. I was like, this nigga, fuck out of here. Get that blood flow. <laughs> Say it from the tip to the base. <laughs> no, don't fight it. You all right. <laughs> Blackout! 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 Blackout!